all right all right all right what is going on youtube what is going on shout out to my new subscribers my old school subscribers and my tiktok family it wasn't for you guys wouldn't be possible listen y'all we're gonna get right into it with no further ado you know what i'm saying i appreciate you and uh, hit the like button remember share the live and subscribe listen guys man i'm a, look I just ran across this video. I had another video planned, but this one was so funny, man. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta go ahead and play it. Um, I'm gonna drop plenty of other videos. We're gonna be doing a lot of these, um, making sure I get the pre-recorded videos out. You guys seem like those more. But uh, look, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. These women in this video, again, they just, they further explain why you know men are walking away. And, you know, you know, doing their own thing, trying to become the best version of ourselves and just letting these ladies age out. I mean, it, I, I'm at a loss for words, y'all. I really am. Because it's funny, but it's sad. Right? They have no idea. And then they get so upset when we don't do what they want us to do. But we're telling them the reason why we're not. And they're, they're, they're able to get away with so much, man. It's just... Listen, I'm not going to hold you guys up. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, lower the volume down on the music in the background. But, you know, I'm not going to monologue too much because I need for this video to stay under a certain amount of time. But listen, keep doing what you're doing, becoming the best version of yourself. You know, a couple of you guys in the um, the comments, you're talking about, you know, you're relapsing. It's not a relapse if it's a good girl. Now, if you're out there, you know, busting down some 304, I mean, not talk like that again. But if you're just out there, just in the streets, you know, you know, come on, brother, you can do better than that. I'm not here to judge you, though. You know it's a judge-free zone. You know what I'm saying? I'm your brother, man. I'm just, I'm reflection. I'm just, you know what I mean? A uh, version of you that's out here putting the information out that you guys resonate with and you guys are also doing and feeling. Trust me, the flesh is weak. I'm feeling it myself. I'm getting a lot of DMs and I'm getting a lot of pictures and stuff sent to me. Listen, I understand. If you guys have been out here doing this this whole time, trust me, um, I, I can completely understand. I can completely understand. <laughs> gotta keep that music going because they're out here right now i don't you know to you alpha guys i see why you're doing what you're doing you know why buy the milk right anyway let's go ahead and with no further ado let's get right into this listen you guys i'm super excited about this video again like i'm trying to let you guys know man oh man oh man what a time to be alive and what a time to be single. These women are messed up. Hey. They done messed up, y'all. Man, we, we, get, we got it all right now. And I'm able to listen. And then God's also blessing men with the ability to see. So all this intuition and stuff they thought they had, which they really don't. They just watch a lot of social media and they build these archetypes off of the... Uh, um, propaganda and uh, these narratives that are being pushed and we don't even know where they're coming from but it seems like they're trying to make sure that we stay separate from each other and it's easy to control the men if you're controlling the women you control the entire economy the economy whenever you're controlling the women and with hopeflation being at an all-time high you know what I mean and uh, you know men just able to with the age of Aquarius if you guys don't know that's what we're in the age of knowledge man you know you know, the veil being lifted, you know, and the wisdom is just flowing. As long as you're trying to get close to God, God's going to give you a little bit. You're trying to, you know, you just let God know you're trying to be better. And, you know, you're going within. You're not like, you know, looking for women and external sources to, you know, um, get rid of your sins. You know, you know, you need to like work on that yourself. God's going to bless you with something. Y'all, I see a lot of these preachers online, these modern preachers that be wearing hoodies and stuff. And they say the craziest stuff. I, you know, look, I'm, I'm thinking about going back to a church, but every time I see one of these preachers online, where they seem like they're just judging everybody online, and these guys are out of shape, you know, we all know that the money's tax free, and some of these preachers have the biggest homes in the entire region that they live in, but they'll get online and then just judge people. That's not how God works. 
that's how God works. So I'm not going to never probably take, you know what I'm saying, that pressure off of them because they need to do better, man. If they're going to lead by example, get in shape. Stop busting out of your clothes. We want you to stay around. We want you to live. It seemed like that's the easy route to go to. As long as you have a Bible in your hand, no one look, no one cares about how you're uh, carrying yourself, how you're dressing, um, how you're looking or anything. Just as long as you're stacking your money up. No, they still a representation of God, right? They need to be doing better. They need to get in shape. They need to get in shape, period, point blank. I I don't want to hear, you know what I'm saying, any preacher out there talking about anything until you get in shape first. You know, because when you're out of shape, you know, that's gluttony right there. So you can't even show any discipline as far as food goes. But anyway, let's go. I'm really, really into Asian women, despite what I'm marrying. Hope y'all have a great wedding. And they were planning the two days after my birthday. I mean, this guy was so cute. I was honestly willing to do anything at this point. I was honestly, honestly willing to do anything at this point. Just the betrayal and like, how could this person that I cared about so much do that to me? String me along for five months. Hey, you guys, do me a favor, hit the like button, share the live. That's not live, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so used to going live. You know, share the video and subscribe. Come on, y'all. We got to get the channel back go, uh, growing. Look, I'm back on here dropping content again. I took a little bit of time off. You got to do it. You got to do it for your mental health. People online, man, they come online and they just run their mouth. And then there's other content creators secretly competing with you. And they get online and run their mouth. And it's just a bunch of goobers. You know what I'm saying? Just a bunch of goofy goobers. So I just get off of this online thing and, you know, I'm in reality while they just bark at each other. You know, I ain't worried about none of them. These people, they, they get lost online and they get trapped in their minds. You know what I'm saying? They forget about reality. But I'm outside the matrix, baby. Can't mess with me. Months as the other woman and still have a live-in girlfriend of three years. They now have a baby together. Came to my house, would put her on Do Not Disturb, go to her house, put me on Do Not Disturb. Can we get any of these videos of these ladies without filters and a ton of makeup? Anyway. It was a whole mess. Two weeks later, he's literally engaged to somebody else. Look at all these filters, y'all. If you think these aren't filtered out faces, they can't even go online and talk all this junk about men without filtering out their face with a ton of makeup. Get out of here. I'm like, what the heck? This is my dating life. I'm not a piece of meat. And they're not going to reciprocate your feelings. Man, I always look at people that... They're like looking at themselves, even while they're on here, you know, that's why I believe they're trolling people, because these women that get on here, and they're all make up up, you know that they're looking at themselves in the videos, and looking at it over and over, man, look, man, thirst trapping. They're only about themselves, and they could care less about you. Why wasn't I good enough to date? You know, I was good enough to sleep with, I was good enough to hang out with. You are good enough to hook up with, but not good enough to date. I got played. Again. This is not taking accountability because, again, no one's making these. Please understand that we're not in some kind of slavery mill where women are forced to interact with men to get by in the day. No, 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 no. These are women that have picked the wrong kind of men based off of we don't even know what criteria they're using, probably Chad's and Tyrone's. So they're over here complaining, or it might even be a Pookie or Ray Ray, Brady or Brad, you know, the lower levels of Chad and Tyrone. So, we, you know... You know what I mean? Let's keep it going. Good enough to hook up with, but not good enough to date. That is really the essence of today's day. Yuck. Yuck. Dating market, which is leading to an ever increasing number of women who find out the hard way that just because a Chad or Tyrone is interested in you by liking your photos, swiping on you, and asking you to come over, does not mean he's actually interested. Hey, brothers, please understand, they know this. See, we keep giving them the excuse and the benefit. No, 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 no. They know this. They got a whole plan in their lives to run their 20s up, get the numbers up. Remember what I told you. The modern woman has between 23 and 53 bodies on King David. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you right now. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? I mean, I mean that, y'all, on King David, really. You know what I mean? They really do. They really do. I've done the numbers, and that's just from me getting information from some of the women that I've tried talking to. That's me getting information from women that have uh, friend zoned me, and just the information I've collected from. Uh, I'm an engineer. Listen, 
and just use your intuition. You know that most of them have over 20, you know, so they're probably trying to keep it under 30 something, but they, especially if they go to college, let's keep it going. In you. That I'm done, I'm done with situationships. She ain't done with that makeup. You know what I'm saying? She ain't done with these filters. With guys who are who just use me because, you know, they want to sleep with me. Or Does she have to sleep with them? No, she don't. Or they just, you know, want to hook up with me or like, or something like that. I'm just very, very done. I'm done, I'm exhausted, guys. Yep. You're exhausted from what? <clears throat> she wasn't specific. Exhausted from what? Having a good time, rolling around the hay with uh, me or Chad? Come on. Come on. I bet you're exhausted. I'm going to wear you out. But I'm celebrating right now. But when I'm in the game, of course, I'm going to wear you out because, you know, I ain't planning on seeing you again. She's done and probably was already done for several years. Today, she's more like overcooked or burned since she's obviously been played over and over. She ain't played enough not to make sure every video doesn't have a filter on and a ton of makeup. Let's go. Over again to the point of complete mental destruction and now sees no path to happiness. And when you look on social media, especially the mental wasteland that is TikTok, you'll find millions of women who've reached the exact same point, complaining about how they are the victims of F-boys, manipulation, gaslighting, etc. It hurts when men use manipulation to trick. Okay, listen. This is a manipulation in itself. These women know the kind of men that they're getting involved with, but they do it anyway. Then they're able to go online and trauma bond with other women and beta, you know what I'm saying, panda bear express dudes that be like, oh, yeah, you're clean and all men are bad. You're a dude. How do these guys at panda think if they're outside or the exception to the rule? You're a dude as well. You're just misrepresenting us and you're pandering and we don't even know the reason for it. For the bucks or thinking that you're going to eventually, you know what I'm saying, Get some of the kitty cat. It's not going to never happen. You know, myself and other chads are going to still get the box. What you doing? You're playing yourself, fool. Let's keep it going. Try to get you to trust them, to let your guard down, to get what they want from you. No one's making any of these. Let me tell you something. Do you think that a man without a job, um, a man that's barely getting by, a man that looks like he's struggling, is able to get with these women. No, they make up their mind to be with a, a Chad or Tyrone, you know, a me or what. They, they, they make their mind and they, they, and do you think that they're complaining like that if one of us want to double back? No, they just get online. We don't even be knowing they're saying this stuff until we check out their social media and they're on here trauma bonding and whining to get some views and feel better about themselves, but they're still hooking up with us. Let's go. But in reality, they are actually all victims of stupidity, which I'll prove to you through several examples of classic Chadness, starting with this girl. I open the door. His apartment's a disaster. He's ginormous, too. He's like seven feet tall. He takes me to his room. Right away. He's right ready. away. So check it out. She I've said this a million times. When I'm in it, when I do date or when I was dating back in the day before, I'm like, listen, I would just tell them, come over. You know, he's better than me. I'd be like, the door is going to be unlocked. The bedroom is going to be well lit. It's going to be the only room in the house that has light on. And I always had like, you know, hallway, you know, lights that tracked all the way down. So she just followed the hallway lights. And then, you know what I'm saying? Right into the bedroom. I already got something good playing on TV. So y'all, y'all be doing too much. You, you know, talking about cheap wine and stuff. Listen, you get whatever the ladies want. And if you over there trying to drop some expensive wine on a lady that you ain't got to, you're crazy. And also make sure that there's something on TV that they can relate to, depending on the company that you're having. You, women watch a lot of shows. Don't put anything on dramatic like any of that housewife stuff. No, 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 no. Something quirky, goofy, and funny. I would suggest an old, uh, you know, sitcom or whatever from the 90s or the early 2000s or something. You know, really throw them off. Like put Reba on or something like that. Like, oh, what are you doing? Or Heart of Dixie. Oh, what are you doing? What do you know about this? Oh, because I'm black. I wouldn't know. Uh, you know, get the conversation started. You know, even if it's a black chick, she'd be like, whoa, whoa, we're watching. You know, yeah, we watch some of this Heart of Dixie over here. It's a great show. Oh, I don't know. Next thing you know, they're cracking up laughing. Look, make her comfortable. If you're going to be a Chad, you're going to be a Tyrone, make her comfortable. And then break her back in the bedroom. Okay. Actually went to a stranger's house at one o'clock in the morning, who then took her to his room and fed her a whole bottle of the cheapest wine he could find. He gives me a double. Hey, and if you don't know what that is, Stella Rose, Stella Rose. Hey, hey, 
That's all they want. It's fine. Man, you can get that, man. Listen, you look, let her see like three bottles of it in the frick. Man, I'm telling you. Or if you over here really doing it, you got it on ice in the room, man. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? I used to have this uh, co-worker of mine back in the day. This is back when he was in Iraq, right? He used to talk about bringing women over and giving Boone's Farms and Hot Pockets. <laughs> I miss Sergeant Boyd, man. Oh, man. He'd be like, you know, he said he'd, get, he, he'd garnish it up, you know, cut the, cut the Hot Pocket in half. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I'm goofy. But that was back in the day when I was in Iraq. That's like, you know what I'm saying, 2003, 2004. But still, you know, it could still be classic. But like right now, all you got to do is just, you know what I'm saying, you don't give them any food. You don't want to go into the bathroom at your house, nothing like that. And the wine's enough. You don't want to give them too much of that either because you, you don't want no lady over there pooping in your home first, first or second time she's there. That's, that's, that's embarrassing for you and her. You don't want to, you, you know what I'm saying, she blow the bathroom up. She has to come out of there. You know, you know you're know, you not going to do nothing with her anyway. But you, the last thing you want to do is be smelling her booty. And you ain't even gotten up into it yet. I'm telling you, it'll ruin the whole mood. I'm just giving you some Chad and Tyrone information here, man. Bottle of red wine. You can use a smoke thing. Wine. Wine is very popular. Wine is the best. Bro. Yeah. That's the wrong bottle, homie. It has to be that Stella Rose. Hey, it's, it's got to be that Stella Rose. I'm telling you, man. It's got to be that Moscato. I'm telling you. Well, some of them like the different flavors of it. So make sure, you know, I only can deal with the um the the um uh uh the, the original one, but the women want the other ones, you know, because the other stuff is just too much. You know what I'm saying? The, the the regular ones enough, but the other stuff is too much. But when women see wine, see, wine isn't like hard liquor, you know, because you know you got hard liquor and they talk about some smoke. Gee, you you smoking and come on, man. I mean, but nowadays I've had some chick say some crazy to me like, um, you want to match up? And I had to get her to define what this is. It's, look, you know what I'm saying? Get yourself, you know what I mean? They be talking about some, you know, real stuff, but, you know, like some, you know, tree and stuff. But you can get yourself a little hookah, right? And then, we, you know, oh, yeah, we can hookah, you know what I'm saying? I got a vape and hookah, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody, I don't know what these women think that we're doing out here where you, you're just going to have smoke and, and wine and, you know, as if it's legal and everything. Come on. But you can get yourself a hookah or whatever. And if she want to do all that crap, she can do it before she gets to your house. You don't need her, you don't need her all messed up and, and, and too drunk anyway because then she can be like uh you know, plausible than I, 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 I was, uh, and it was all this stuff, no, 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 we hooked a little, hook a little bit, had a little bit of, uh, that cheap wine, uh, Stella Rosé, and that was it, you could chill out, there wasn't no hard liquor, there wasn't no, you know what I'm saying, wasn't nothing crazy up in there, wasn't nobody in there rolling no blunts, are you crazy? Be careful, gentlemen. One of the barefoot things. Now, does this sound like Prince Charming to you, or someone using clever manipulation tactics? These people... What the barefoot? That's cheaper than a Stella Rosé. That was like nine ninety eight. The Stella Rosé is about fourteen dollars. No, it's about twelve, I think. Twelve or thirteen. Are masters at lying, switching it around, minimum. No, and also understand these women are projecting, right? Like women are masters of lying and all this stuff. They're projecting, right? They just get mad. They don't get mad. They know it's going to happen anyway. But how can they continue this roller coaster? On the CC, if they don't get on here and make it seem like they got played. Either way it goes, they don't understand that they look bad either way. Think about it. They're getting played by Pookie Ray Ray, Ty, um, um, Brady or Brad's, or Chad or Tyrone's, like me. What does that say for yourself? And also, for it to keep happening over and over, are you really getting played? Or are you having a good time and then you have an escape goat? The reverse discard. And then they'll call every guy a narcissist. That's why I don't even say the word anymore because it's ridiculous. Women use it as an escape mechanism. Most of them are covert narcissists. Minimizing it. You've got to let go of the idea that you were stupid for falling for them. No, you are stupid for falling for them. Since these tactics are ridiculously easy to observe and chads do not even try to hide their intentions. There's no dates, no dinner, no manipulation or special tactics being used. It's just simply come to my house ASAP. It depends, you know, like sometimes they want to go out and have like dinner. Maybe I don't want to go to dinner, you know, because I see her a different way. And so if they're really attractive, I'll go out to a drink. 
to Same. a bar or something, you know. Same. Yeah, yeah, listen, I don't know these two dudes right here sitting all close. Um, uh, again, um, fair use, fair use. I don't approve this. You know how I ride solo. I don't approve any of this uh, tight shirt sitting real close to each other. One guy's shirt rolled up on his stuff. I don't know nothing about this, okay? You know, Sigma don't approve of this. I don't know what this dude, this this might be some, some I don't know, uh, Jim Bro, handsome guy dudes or something. I don't know. But as far as Sigma's, Sigma Wolves, this is unacceptable. Absolutely unacceptable. You never need to be sitting that close to another man. Give him some space. Their knees are touching. Their knees are touching. I think they are. It looked like it. But like, what is that not? Yeah, one point lower, like, they're coming over. You know what I mean? <laughs> See, that is how nonsense that you keep hearing about on social media, which is just a coping mechanism for women to hide behind for when they think with their f***ness and they get used by a Chad who sees no value in them at all. You know somebody there? I see a girl I hooked up with multiple times. <laughs> Yo, what's this? What? Whoa. Hey. Nah. Uh-uh. 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 Mm -mm. What's this? See? And this is the reason why women be saying that crazy stuff about us. Because this right here, this ain't cool, bro. Like, what, what's going on? Where's his arm at? What's this? Their knees are touching. I don't know. Listen. I, I You know. Nah. Uh-uh. Hey. Sigma Wolf. Listen, this right here, unacceptable. Interesting. Yeah. I never seen Nah, we got, we got fast forward. Call like a true simp. What's the furthest you'll drive for a guy? Like 400 miles. I know that's right. Make her drive. And don't give her no gas money. Man, listen. Make her drive. You don't think that they won't drive for me? They'll drive for me. Make them drive, man. Shoot, you crazy. Miles? Yeah. This guy told me to come to Queens yep. at 1 a.m. Please drop a like on the video if you think that these girls getting played by Chads is... Exactly. Drop a like, y'all. Share the video. Subscribe. 100% their own fault. And comment down below what you think. Now, after a couple times of bedroom fun... Hey, do you wash your cover? And that's another one right there, y'all. What do y'all think? You know, do you think that they're just up here running their mouths to cover up for the fact that they're having a good time and enjoying their 20s and early 30s? Or do you really think that we're playing women? When women can look at you and plan out the entire next 18 to 20 years of your life, have an offspring and everything else and what the baby's going to look like and how she's going to end up married, you know, marrying you after she's done running through these other guys that she's been meaning to get to? Get out of here. When your guy, when your guy done having, yeah. Right after, really? No, a week after. Ooh, cochina. You know, she waits a week after she has gotten her cheek smashed to wash her sheets. What in the? I told y'all the trifling. I told you. I told you, man. We got, we got to wrap this up. Ooh, oops. I ain't mean to do that. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to Alpha Central. No, 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 no. That's that video's for another time. That video is for another time. For another time. Look, y'all. How long have we been running this? 22, 23 minutes. Hey, look, I got to get off of here, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Remember, hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Plenty more coming. We got to get to a part two on this. I have plenty more going with that. And then this other video was the original video I was going to use. But, you know, that's got to be another video, man. Like, like, these women are wild. Hey, alphas, enjoy yourselves out there. Betas, if you don't see my retention, just you know, take notes or whatever you got to do. You know, stay focused if you coming off and on semen retention because you know there's just so much um, free kitty out there. Do what you got to do, play it safe, you know, and be picky and selective. Remember, y'all, you're my brother and I love you. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you for joining me.